Welcome to the Smart Energy Lab and what's in the box again today. And today we've got the new Huawei battery. Now the, this is, I've been waiting for this for a while because I've had the Huawei hybrid inverter here, the, the five kilowatt unit sitting on the wall for a while, but now they've got their very own battery. And there's something pretty special about this, but we'll save that till I open it. So let's see what's in the box. I know straight away from the weight, so that's the battery module, and this is the control module, or the DC-DC converter that goes on top. So let's cut into it and uh, see what's in the box. I like the fact that these have got handles to pick them up with. Um, makes them very nice to, to transport. Two people can quite comfortably lift from the handles, plastic handles integrated into the case. And uh, let's have a look what we've got in here. So right on top, of course, uh, is your uh, battery module inspection report with dates and usual checklist to make sure that the quality is being uh, uh, is achieved. And then we've got our um, sets of plugs and sockets for connections. So uh, we've got some uh, DC leads for connecting to the Huawei hybrid inverter, uh, some earth cables, some mounting equipment, and some brackets. I'll take a closer look at those in a minute. And uh, then we've got the main battery unit. Now, here we go. Very well protected packaging. And we've got some side protection. Ah, these are, we've got them here, let's have a look. All right, uh, so these are, these are aesthetic elements. Um, lightweight plastic, uh, which is just to finish off the, the product when it's uh, put together, so put those aside. There's a couple of those. There's another one. Yep. So we've got the side panels, Let's put those aside. And now we've got the battery itself, which is wrapped in plastic for environmental protection. And let's see how we're gonna lift this out. Right, it's got some nice little handles. Now this is really ideally a two-person lift, but I was New Zealand lightweight um, lifting champion, so, <laughs> so once upon a time, long ago, So here we have the, the battery module. Very slim line as you can see. And these integrated handles make it actually ideal for two people to lift it. So I really am recommending two people lift these because they are 50 kilos. We can see that we've got a bunch of connectors on the side here. Now, this is the first thing you'll notice that there is a male and female and a male and female. That's because these batteries connect in a special way. Normally stackable batteries are connected in series so that as you add more in series, your voltage goes up, uh, but your current stays the same. And that means that when you're charging a series connection of battery modules, they all are charged at the same rate and all discharge at the same rate, um, which seems okay, but you can't optimize for age when you've got a series connection. So if you have some battery modules that have been added at a later stage, um, they have to be treated the same as all the battery modules in the string. But this is one of the advantages of what Huawei has done, is avoid that by paralleling their battery modules. Now these battery modules operate up around the 400 volt mark, uh, each one, and they are paralleled. So um, I've got two battery modules here and a controller. The controller is basically a DC-DC converter. And, uh, this battery module, when added to another battery module, is still the same voltage output because they're in parallel and the BMS manages them independently. So it can discharge one battery module and not discharge another. So they can cycle them um, progressively and also balance them uh, precisely. So that's one of the big pluses of this design of parallel battery modules. So these are the, the covers to cover the cables and also to provide a a pleasant aesthetic to the side of the unit. Uh, then the next battery module goes on top and the cables that we just um, took out of the unboxing unit here, these will connect the next battery module uh, in parallel. So that's how the modules work. Let's have a look at the controller which sits on top. So this is the controller. 
the controller basically does the role of the battery management system, which is managing the parallel battery modules, but also it's a DC-DC converter. So it can match the voltage that the hybrid inverter requires. Now, these batteries are designed to work with Huawei's hybrid inverters, and they come in single phase and three phase at a range of sizes. So you can build some pretty big systems uh, with these small modular batteries. I'm told it's the same controller, whether you're building, connecting it to a single phase or three phase inverter, it doesn't really matter. There's a software setting that changes the controller to provide a higher DC output voltage to suit the three phase inverters as opposed to the single phase inverters. All right, here we go. I probably should have opened this one first because it looks like we've got some, a template in here. Yeah, look at that. Get my gloves off. I've got a template. I love a template for, <laughs> for precise positioning of, of a system. Here we go. Wow, check that out. So this, presumably you can, it's got double-sided tape attached to the wall and therefore orientate uh, your batteries in the right positions. Great, that's really nice to have. And we've got our installation manual and operating manual in the bag here. Uh, we've got some communication data cables. So these are RJ45 cables here and an earth link. Some cable ties and uh, some sort of uh, uh, DC plugs here. So these are DC connector plugs uh, that you can connect to your, presumably to your hybrid inverter with. And these look like the cover plates that we just saw before. So here we go. These are, these are some aesthetic cover plates to go on the side to make the whole unit look complete. Uh, there's a hole for a start button there. There's another one of these cover plates. And yeah, so there's definitely a left and right cover plate. And uh, one of them has a rather large opening. So put those aside. Some more mounting screws for a masonry wall. Uh, some some uh, machine screws here and bolts. And some brackets for security. So the unit is attached to the wall and can't fall over. And lastly, on the top here, it's nicely laid out this, uh, is another piece of molding. We'll find out what that does in a minute. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah. And there's, there's the other piece of molding. And let's get the controller out. This is significantly lighter than the batteries, which is really nice. So I'll just put this out the way. So here's our controller. This is where the brains of the unit is. This is what allows these battery modules, whether you have one, two, or three. In fact, you can have multiple battery units, two, um, two basically strings. So there'll be up to three battery modules uh, per unit, and two sets of those can be parallel together. So at five kilowatt hours per module, you get 15 kilowatt hours in a stack, and you can have two stacks, so that's 30 kilowatt hours of 100% usable energy. Uh, so that's really nice to read about. So we look on the back here. Because it's a DC-DC converter, there is some heat being generated. So if I lift this up a little bit so we can see it better. So this DC-DC converter has a heat sink. It will dissipate a small amount of uh, energy as it's working. So what it does, it matches the voltage that the inverter requires. I said before that it can work with either the single phase or three phase Huawei hybrid inverters, and they require different input voltages. The three phase, of course, would require a higher DC voltage. On this end, um, we've got our connection points. So we've got comms, battery. So there's our comms and battery connections on this end. So on the front, we've got the display, which has got a plastic protective cover on it. Uh, it presumably illuminates. And in the end here, we've got the, turn it around, uh, integrated DC isolator. So this allows us 
to turn the battery module off and on with an integrated DC isolator, which sits under a cover, but the, the isolator is still accessible even once the cover's on. So once the cover's on, we can still access that DC isolator, but it hides all of the connection ports on the unit. Uh, it's pretty nice. And so in here, we've got our battery um, connections and our comms. So that's, that's the, the complete unit. Um, I'd love to show you it fully assembled, but that'll have to be another video. So this is the unit in uh, pieces, five kilowatt hours, five kilowatt hours. So we've got 10 kilowatt hours of batteries here with the controller at the top. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot.